multiple organizations are working together to power up the pantry. This is our second Power Up the Pantry event. We had it in 2019 as our first annual during Kentucky Power's 100th anniversary, but then COVID didn't allow it to happen last year, but we are in four locations across Eastern Kentucky. And the purpose is to help replenish food banks and food pantries in the area. Kentucky Power has partnered with God's Pantry Food Bank and the Medicaid and Facing Hunger to collect food, toiletries, and household items to later distribute to pantries throughout communities. And so we are here in Pikeville today. We are in Prestonsburg at Big Sandy Community College, and we are in Hazard uh, right outside the ARH Medical Mall, and then we are in Ashland in Central Park. Wiseman adds that the pandemic has been tough on everyone. To ease some of the burden that has been placed on people, Kentucky Power acted by pausing power disconnects and provided flexible payment arrangements. But a big part of what we do and what we feel is really important is participating in the communities where we live and work. And so, you know, what better way for us to participate, to be out here today collecting uh, food and toiletry items to uh, hopefully replenish some of the food pantries in the area before winter hits because winter, no matter if nothing is going on in our world, like COVID, is still can be a rough time in, in, the, in the mountains where we live. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. The Power Up the Pantry event will run all day until 6.30 p.m. at the locations listed on your screen. Wiseman says apart from non-perishable items, they're also accepting monetary donations, which can be dropped off or donated online by visiting godspantryfoodbank.org or facinghunger.org. We would love to see some traffic come through today. We've had some already, and uh, but we're here until 6:30 this evening, and you know, and, and at the three other locations. And we really appreciate the support of the communities, our customers, and our own employees who have uh, contributed to and donating their time today. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jeremy Justice.